Apple Hansi. Ask something to ask about your antsy. Oh, Pony, you never said you didn't smell as well. Oh, boohoo. I still don't trust this hunter, bro. <laughs> Let's save. Hey. Perhaps I can buy some cheese. Hello. Oh dear. What is it you want? Can't you tell I'm in a dilemma? Uh, oh. I'm sorry, miss. I was just wanting a fight. Whatever it is, I cannot do it. There are no mirrors in this world, so what's the point? What's the point of going anywhere or doing anything? If I don't know how I look. Now then, shoo shoo. I have a mirror. Ah, so was... Ah, is that what I think it is? Is it not a mirror I see in your possession? My... I'm so... Beautiful. Wow, beautiful really is in the eye of the beholder. I'm glad I caught miss. Uh, um, would you mind moving out of the way, perhaps? I'm curious what's behind the door. Hmm? Oh yes, I'll do that in just a little while. Come back later. I need to have a few moments to admire myself. Oh, it's been so long. It's the last thing I saw the stature. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snowing. Well, suddenly went to bed. Then I wake up in the morning. And the door is locked. The door is locked. Can't go that way. Ah, Miss Bungle, you're back. Here, take this. It's the finest aged cheese we have in the pearl. Say it just for you. Thank you very much, sir. Alright. Now, we simply just go back, feed the mouse. And we go to the, um, we go to Oscar. I'm moving this out of the way. <laughs> oh god. I actually feel awful for doing that. This little guy's gonna die. Wait, it was back here. The rats, they say thank you. I say thank you as well. Take this, little red. Room key. Thank you, sir. Mm, oh, that's you. I'll try to move in just a moment. Most you've come to mind my beauty as well. <laughs> the only one who knows how to treat a lady right is Miss Carnation. All the other hat weirdos disgust me, especially the blue one. Didn't get me sore on that piece of garbage. Hmm. <laughs> I need to think of myself more dis distressed. Oh, let's see, actually, I move just a moment. Ha, <laughs> no, you can't as beautiful as you. Oh, aren't you a darling? Well, for starters, I think it would do you good to not hide under that cloak of yours so much. The world deserves to see more beautiful faces like yours. Aw. Thank you so much, miss. Hopefully it'll never be as beautiful as me. <laughs> Do you see something, miss? Ah, uh, it's something. Yeah, so nothing in there. Oh, unless... Okay, unless... So if we just 
go. So can we unlock? Can we unlock the new orbits here now? Yep. This place looks comfortable. The shelves are filled with books and flowers and other plants. Wait, is this like a flower creation? Let me use. Uh oh. Don't touch that flower. I feel like flowers, my dear. I'd be happy to get you something fresher. Something even more beautiful than this. Hunter? I I'm sorry, but why can't I touch it? Wait. Hunter has been to the parallel too. Maybe I can ask him about it. But then maybe he would only get more concerned if he knew I had been there too. Uh. It's silly. It just has a certain sentimental value to me, that's all. Apologies for acting out there. <laughs> Say, Bonnie. How did you get in this room in the first place? I could have sworn it was locked. If I lock a door in this house, it's for a reason, my love. So how did you get in? I, uh, I found a key in the trash can and I got curious. That's... There's no need to lie, my dear. I'm not angry with you. I just want to know the truth. Someone gave it to me. Who? I don't think you'd believe me if I told you. Oh, Bonnie. You went to the parallel, didn't you? You you know the parallel, too? Oh, thank goodness. I thought you were going to think I've gone crazy. My sweet Bonnie, why didn't you come to me sooner? That place is beyond dangerous. I could have I could have been there to protect you. You're not mad? How could I be mad at you for something that wasn't your fault? If anything, I'm mad at the parallel for dragging you to its clutches. You know how scary it can be down there? I gave someone in the parallel the spare key to this room, in hopes you wouldn't ever accidentally find it. But I should have known it would find you eventually, given all that happened. I'm so sorry, Bonnie. I should have kept a closer watch over you, so this would have never happened. Hunter. He had nothing to apologize for. I'm feeling, I'm sorry you had to endure that world as well. But I'm almost done collecting all the memory shards I need to escape that place forever. You actually went to the memory shards? You, you God, I cannot read. You actually went to collect memory shards? Thank goodness you're still alive. Are you really sure you want to do that? You know, whenever I get sucked back in, I simply use the flower immediately to come back here. It would be a much safer alternative. I'm so close though, I only have one more shard left to find. Hunter, maybe if we find less memory shard, then both of us can escape the parallel forever. If we both walk out those doors, then we'll be safe, right? I don't know, Bonnie. No one has actually seen what's beyond those doors. It could be another trap. I don't know. But I think it's still worth a shot. No, I, okay, I skipped past that, I'm sorry. I don't know what that said. <laughs> this might be the only chance. Well, if that's what you wish. I climb with you too. But really? But of course, someone's gotta protect you out there. That someone will be me. I'll follow you to the ends of the earth if it calls for it, my love. You can count on me to keep you safe. Hunter, join the party. Yay! Yes. Oh, this. Yeah, I did not mean to click that. Have you and Hunter met before? Yes, we have. But it has been a long, long time. I'm very glad to see you both wish we escape this place forever. What about that? Are you absolutely certain if we leave through those doors, we won't ever come here again? It is the best chance you have, in my opinion. It is the best chance you have, in my opinion. There seems to be another way out. But what's on the other side of those doors? I wish I knew. But if I did, I wouldn't be here right now. My apologies. Well, maybe one, maybe Lady Thing should have moved. Ah, 
Ha, <laughs> beautiful. Who are you talking to, miss? Why, myself, of course. Have we not seen anything more beautiful in your entire life? Out of the way, lady. Okay. Should we talk to him? Um, blue hat guy, maybe. Oh my, is this a big bad wolf following you? Don't worry. I'm. For I am a gentleman, and my duty is to protect her maid such as so. <laughs> Please refrain from talking to my wife in such a way. Actually, you'd find it quite beneficial for your health to never talk to her ever again. <laughs> <laughs> wife? Jeez, they need to get your fur in a bunch. Ooh, this door's open now. This is the only place I haven't been to yet. The last mummy shard should be somewhere in here. Well, stay close to me, alright? I don't want you getting hurt in there. Alright. Um. What's upstairs? This is upstairs. Peel fix. Um, let's see. Let's... Let's go through this door. It's locked. We'll have to find the key somewhere. Of course. Oh, you're not hung up. This wall's well painted, you've always seen before. Yep, who cares? It's locked. Let's go into the ominous store that clearly wants us to go in there. Oh my! How pleasant. The wolf family tree, from top to bottom, left to the right. Maya Paterna. Remember, Hunter. Alright, there we go. Right, 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 right. So, let's see. What? The, the Rook's friendly tree. Akiana. Leverate. Angel Queen. Good body. Maybe we come back. Good idea. The various murder mystery books stock shelves. All they fitting. Yep. One of the books had a piece of paper written inside of it. Yay! B. M. H. L. Hippopotamus. What could this mean? Perhaps it's some sort of clue. That's what I'm saying. It's locked box. It needs some sort of combination. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H I J K O. I don't know. Twenty twelve. Still locked. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, good. No rats in this hole. Oh wow. No. 
if I do see Bonnie or Oh wow. <sighs> oh boy. These statues are ranged seem strange, does it not? Also is it because of the symmetry? No, oh, it's not that. I think the formation vaguely reminds me of a family tree, that's all. Oh, right, you mentioned Yeah, I can see that as well. It feels very eerie. Ooh. Wait, a girl caught catching up with her brother as she walked on the sound path. Are you really leaving? Jeez, thought saying goodbye to. She huffed. What kind of brother are you? The boy retorted. Hey, it's not my fault. You knew I'd be leaving today, but you weren't anywhere in the house. What kind of sister are you? Abandoning me before I am to go on such a long journey. He spoke in a teasing voice. The two shared a moment with silence before dropping their teasing stones. Tones. Laughter filled the nearly empty road like an unforeseen flood. I'm going to miss you, the girl sighed. She wrapped her arms around the boy and pulled him for a tight hug. Haha, <laughs> he troubled, patting on the head. I won't be gone for long. You know, mother needs this medicine. But the only place it sells it is the next town over. Besides, the boy continued to speak. I know you don't I know you don't want to miss that festival tomorrow, so stay here. Have fun. I promise I'll be back as soon as I can. Haha, <laughs> fine. You better go. You better be back soon. If you aren't if you aren't, I'll never forgive you. The girl giggled, pulling away from the hug. The two shared their goodbyes, and thus began the boy's long journey. HBM. What does HBML stand for? The bite of 87. 8319. It worked! It opened. Let's see what's inside. He got a room key. Yay. Does it work on you? Nope. How about you? So it's this one over here. Yep. Oh my. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm supposed to do with this. No, okay. Let's go that up. I think I did. So it resets. So we go this way. There you go. What is this? You got a wolf doll. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely adorable. <laughs> Well, let's go out here as fast as we can. What was that? that that's literally what I just, I was just about to say that. We want to stay close by me, alright, Bonnie? That looks like Patrick. I want to try putting the bunny on the chair. That way the dolls can fill every seat. Bunny doll. And I think it's Hunter one right there. I know he probably belongs here, but I'll miss him. Such a cute doll. 
Aw. I'll give you a similar dollar after this is all over. <laughs> Thanks, Hatching. You set down the wolf doll. Nothing seemed to change. Nope. So I can run away from this nice city outside and stuff. Oh no! That's what I'm wondering. What happened? I didn't know these dolls had blood inside of them. I suppose even dolls can die in the parallel. Oh. No, I don't want to go back in there. <laughs> I'm going to say I'm I'm saving. I don't like where this is going. Okay, I guess right. Hmm, it seems here a fork in the road, so to speak. Which way do you want to go for a spawn? Oh, uh, maybe the right door. What was that? Stay behind me. Run! Ah! Ah. Is that the grandma? That might be. Gr that might be Granny. I'll be concerned, I might have to find another way. No! Run. No! Don't go right to it, you idiots! Ruined. Ruined. Run. You ruined it. My puzzle. It was completely- it was going to be perfect. Ruined. Ruined. We good. <laughs> oh wait, I th oh I think I know what to do. Okay, we loop around. That might be what we do, okay. Find another- find another- What do you mean, find another way? No! Wait. Oh god. Child. He's right there. Run. Ask him that's granny.
I gotta get the shards, you gotta get the thing, you gotta get the thing, because you gotta do the thing, because you gotta do the thing, because why would you not, why would you not want to do the thing, because you gotta do the thing. I'm certain that this is granny. There comes granny claws, there comes granny claws, there comes granny claws in. Uh, we made it. We made it. Good. Are you okay, Hunter? That wolf spider didn't hurt you, did it? I'm okay. More importantly, are you okay? I'm scared. That's, let's be honest, I, I'm, I'm really, really scared, but physically speaking, yes, I am okay. My sweet Bonnie, I am so, so sorry. You don't deserve any of this. I'm relieved, at least, that you're physically unharmed. Don't worry. At least we have the last summary shard. Then we just have to go through the front doors and it's all be over. About that. I think it's about time we go back, my darling. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. That's why we have to go through the front doors. <laughs> oh, Bonnie. No, you don't understand. I've indulged in this much more than I should have. It really is far too dangerous to have a place for you. I need to keep you safe. So we're going now. We're going far, far away. What? Losing you isn't an option for me. I need to keep you safe. Um, wait, Hunter, can you please let me go? Aw, oh, you're so cute. Don't worry, Bonnie. I promise I won't let anything else hurt or scare you again. Hunter, wait, but Miss Carnation said that Fly doesn't know what she's talking about. It's his place, that house. I should have never brought you here. This is for your own good, Bonnie. Hey, forgive me, I know you will. You're just so sweet like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me and you, buddy. Me and you. Almost done, and... Perfect. Apologies, my dear. I never wanted to bring you into this room. However, I need to make sure you stay in one spot while I gather our things. Be good and stay right there, alright? I'll come get you once I'm done. I know I may seem harsh now, but trust me, being far away from this house is the best way I can protect you. <laughs> I'll be back soon. See, I knew not. I really don't know what to do. Will Hunter's idea really work? Is this really the right thing to do? We we're so close. I just can't shake the feeling that even if we leave this house forever, we'll settle up in the parallel eventually. Creation said that was the only way out. <sighs> God. I'm really tired today. But maybe I should have trusted Hunter more in the first place. If I did, he definitely wouldn't have tied me up like this and put me here. What was that? Is Hunter back already? God, what did he do to this place? But Miss Carnation! Miss Bonnie, are you alright? Yes, I'm alright. Ah, uh, good. We don't have much time. I fear that you will be in great danger if you do not go through those front doors now. I saw Hunter taking the flower into the other... Another... another <laughs> I saw Hunter taking the flower into another room. I think I know where he's going to hide it. If you come with me, I can help you find the flower so you can return to the parallel one final time. I'm going to see you, lady. I'm sorry, Hunter. But I just have to get through the parallel. Thank you, Miss Carnation. That would be great. Perfect. Let me untie these ropes. Carnation, join the party. Yay. You know the room near this one? The extra bedroom? You must go there, quickly. Grandmother, you feel uneasy. Is that the grandma? Oh no! It's full of your, your bright and day-to-day -day routine for each day of the week. It has your favorite places, your favorite foods, your allergies. This book has more information about you than you even knew about yourself. Wow, I can't believe him. I'm truly sorry, Bonnie. Hmm? Why are you sorry? 
The book has a disturbing amount of detail on you. It's rather creepy. Oh, I already knew about this. No need to worry. It's sweet someone could love me this much, right? I'm really lucky. <laughs> Are you feeling alright, Miss Bonnie? He didn't give you anything for you to eat, right? Ah, uh, I'm perfectly fine. So sorry. Let's just try to find that flower. Right. These shells are full of medicine, mostly. Some of the bottles have skulls in them, however. God. I knew- I did not trust this guy from the beginning. Pictures of only her. This is bad. We have to get you out of here now. Ooh, there's a door right here. Whoa, a secret stairway? The flowers must be down there. A closet full of old clothes you don't recognize. No time to sit down now. No kidding. An empty shelf. The shelves are full of old knickknacks. They look, they look interesting, but you don't have time to look through them all. What's with this door? The door is locked. That's odd. I'm sure the key must be around here somewhere. Let's go. Well, thank God there's a save. File 8. Hmm, a pipe seems to be missing here. That's nice. It's locked tight. Yes. <laughs> what did I just do? Nothing happened. That's boring. Okay. A broken bed frame. Uh, let's go through this door. Flower room. A beautiful bunch of red roses. White flowers. There's a pipe in there. Rusty horizontal pipe. Nice. Oh, irrigation. We can. Water them. Okay. There we go. There we go. Box is labeled. Cool things. Whoa, this is a lot of things. The books in here deal mostly with biological science, specifically botany, botany, and medicine. Did you know Hunter wanted to be a doctor when he was younger? Maybe that's why he kept these books around. Oh, Hunter. My apologies, Miss Bonnie. Let's continue moving forward for now. Right. Oh god. Nothing important in this box. Ah, Miss Bonnie. I found this paper in the side of the box here. 1. Amount of shelves in the same room. 2. Amount of dressers locked in the locked box room. Again, I should probably write this down. You're in the floor. Why not use you? Ah, and I almost dropped you again. There you go. Got a code. Perfect. Ooh, a clue. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a locked box that needs some sort of combination. Another one of these? One, two. So, two dressers. Right, what did she say? Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. That one didn't work. Okay, I don't know what she said. Oh, well. Dressers and locked box room. So, that'd be two. 
this these books look incredibly old. These books look incredibly old. Okay. Now shelves in main room. Four? Okay. So we have four. I think I can just guess the rest of this half of that. Four, four, two, six. Let's try that. Four, two, six. Hmm, that one didn't work. Hey, hey! Tron there, my friends. Tron there. Ah, it opened. You got a storage room key. Good. All right. And this in here's a flower room. Yes. Okay. Locked door, sword drinking. Oh god. Ooh! Dating through the box, found a rusty vertical pipe. Bonnie, where are you? I can hear anxious little breaths. It's only a matter of time until I find you. He's here. Quick, hide. Miss Carnation? What are you doing? Are you gonna hide too? I need to distract him, there's another one. Find a flower, place the final memory shards. Go through the front doors. I sent my mic. It was a pleasure to meet you, Miss Bonnie. May we meet again in another lifetime. C Carnation, wait! Oh god. You. Ah, hello there. What a pleasant day we're having, yes? Where is she? Hmm? My dearest beloved Bonnie, where is she? If you tell me where she is, I may consider letting you live. Oh, her, right. She's far away from here. Poor thing was all tied up, you see. She's probably already half across the woods by now. Of course, I could take you to her. If you wish. She told me where she was headed before she left. Where? Where is she? Ah, but Hunter. I need a way to get home myself. Where did you put my flowers, hmm? Did they not suit your decorating style anymore? Ah, I see your game. Fine. Take me to her first, then I'll take you to your precious flowers. You can keep them, in fact. We won't be needing them anymore. It's a deal, then. Come with me. Carnation left the party. Oh no. Carnation, what on earth are you doing? She's gonna get killed trying to trick Hunter. Oh my- Yeah, she is. Ah, I need to find that flower before anything bad happens. There we go. A pipe is missing. Over just push the button. Nothing happened. Oh, there's a box right there! Okay, I did not even see that. This box is full of papers. Looks like documents relating to the house. Hmm? You found something underneath all the papers. Really shape- There we go, okay, finally. Alright. So we once again save. So I th yeah, I think that goes right here. Before I go to that flower, I'm looking through all this. Well, let's go. This is it. I don't know where Carnation and Hunter are, but I have to keep going. Touch the flower? Yes! <laughs> hmm? It's not the matter, Hunter. I should have known you were lying to me. Lying? My, whatever do you mean? I'm taking her right now. You don't know where she is, do you? 
This road leads us directly to Bonnie's grandmother's house, the last place she would ever want to go. I don't have time for this. There's only one place she could be. He's taking something out of his pocket. Wait, is that one of my flowers? That's bomb. Damn it, he's gone. I'm gonna find another flower. Well, I should probably save this right here. Yes. <laughs> Wait, son, before you go, I want you to have this. Huh? Wait, Dad? Are you sure about this? This is your favorite cloak. I can't possibly take this. Nonsense. You'll be traveling all by yourself. Your mother would kill me if I didn't give you something to keep you warm on your journey. <laughs> I've never told you the story of this cloak before, Hunter. Of course, it's been in your family for generations. <laughs> You've always had a good memory, kid. This cloak is indeed the wolf family's most prized heirloom. A representation of the protector of the household. And now, I am passing it down to you. Dad, I'm speechless. Are you sure this is okay? I mean, what about Artemis? Your sister prefers the newest trends anyways. This, not this old thing. She'll probably hound me to buy her a new cloak to make it even. But that's a risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> Alright then. Thank you very much. Of course, kiddo. You know, you're, going, you're doing a very brave thing for me and your mom. I know that mom is really sick. You and Artemis should definitely stay here and take care of her. Besides, the next town over isn't that far away. I know, I know. Just stay safe, alright? I will, I promise. I don't think completely wrong. I'm an idiot. Take care, kiddo. Be back soon. Goodbye. I promise I'll be back in no time with Mom's medicine. I wish I'd gone back sooner. The journey was indeed long. I got the medicine from my mother, though. I did as I promised I would. I promised. Phew. Almost back in town. I really hope this helps, Mom. I hate seeing you such so much pain. What's that smell? Is that smoke? It can't be good. Oh wow. Forest fire. What, what happened? A forest fire? Wait, it's it's coming from the town. Mom? Dad? Artemis? But it was too late. The fire was spreading, houses everywhere were collapsing all around me. The smell of burning flesh got stronger and stronger by the second. I could hear the distant screams and cries of people around me. But I kept running. I wanted to make sure my family was safe. It froze me. I saw my house reduced to nothing but burning wood. My home. My entire life. Somebody called out my name, but I simply couldn't think clearly. The only things on my mind were, how did something like this even happen? Where, where did everybody go? One of my neighbors had to pull me out of the town forcefully so I wouldn't... I pressed that, I did not mean to press that. Gathered out of the town, all the survivors are panicking or trying to figure out what to do. Everyone except me. I scanned the crowd for my family. But they were nowhere to be seen. I don't like thinking about that day. It all doesn't feel real still. I lost everyone so fast. There was no warnings. No way to foresee it. Just one day, they were here. The next day, they're gone. Ultimately, I had nowhere else to go but back to the town where my aunt Maya lived. She once told me if I was ever in an emergency, I could stay with her. Aunt Maya, are you here? Hold is some intruding, but something terrible happened. What happened here? Aunt Maya? Before I knew it, Aunt Maya disappeared too. Everyone in town said she's been shut in for a long, long time. Her house was a mess, and cleaning it up, I found her research papers on something called the Parallel. 
reading it, I thought she was writing some sort of twisted horror, horror novel. That, or she had just gone insane. That is until I got sucked into the parallel myself. It was a horrific world. Every time I went into it, I would only be reminded of that which I had lost. Over time, I learned that the that the rate in which you are randomly transported. Over time, I learned that the rate in which you are randomly transported has a lot to do with your own mental state. The more I thought about everything that happened, the more inescapable it was. So I blocked it out. I did as much as I could to keep myself busy. I cleaned, I cooked, I went on walks. I was desperate to find any sort of distraction from this cruel reality. And that's when I met her. At first, we merely passed by each other every morning in the forest. A few simple hellos were shared after a while. I mentioned the hellos we followed in small talk. Small talk became friendship. Miss Bonnie, good morning. Are you on your delivery, delivery run again? Oh, oh, Hunter. Good morning, yes. I have a few treats to drop off just south of here. Ah, uh, how lovely. Would you mind if I join you? Huh? You want to join me? Uh, oh, well, if you do not want the company right now, I quite understand. No, no, no. I would love for you to join me. I, I just wasn't expecting it. <laughs> Splendid. Now then, what is it you're delivering? Bulk order of chocolate chip cookies. There's a woman who lives further along the path, and her children can't get enough of them. <laughs> uh, oh, that reminds me. Here you go. I, um, I accidentally made too many cookies, so I thought maybe I'd give a few to you. For me? Aw, oh, Miss Bonnie. Thank you very much. I'll have to make you something just as sweet in return now. <laughs> oh, do you bake? Why, yes, indeed I do. You should come over to my house sometime. I can show you my absolute favorite dessert recipes. Really? Oh, I'd love that so much. Before I knew it, I had become completely infatuated with this girl. I would use any excuse I could to see her. Whenever I was with Bonnie, I didn't think about all the tragedy that's happened around me. Everything about her was just so pleasant and absolutely endearing. For the first time in a while, I finally felt whole again. Happy. I was determined to stay by her as much as I could. I want to make her as happy as she makes me every minute of my very existence. Whenever she left, everything felt dark again. It was an unbearable feeling, like a painful itch you just can't satisfy. I admit, I may have followed Bonnie without her knowledge once or twice, perhaps a few more times than that. That's creepy. I got this strap creepy dude. I knew if I had asked her though, she surely wouldn't have buying me a company here. Yeah, but just randomly following somebody's a little bit creepy. I just want to be better side. You're concerning, dude. Ah, Bunny. Hello, good evening. Ah, good evening, Hunter. I'm terribly sorry, but I'm running a bit late. Oh, well then, I hope you have a pleasant night. I'll see you tomorrow then, maybe? Maybe if you're interested, after your deliveries are finished, I could take you out. On a picnic, with the two of us. Oh, wait, really? Like a date? Ah, yes. Unless that wouldn't make you uncomfortable, of course. <laughs> no, not at all. I love you, that sounds so nice. I'll see you tomorrow, then? I can meet you at your house after I finish working. Splendid. It's a day. I'll see you then, Bonnie. Bye, Hunter. See you tomorrow. My heart felt overjoyed in that moment. Just knowing that she was at all interested in me made me eat her all the more. But alas, my celebration paused when I noticed her limping away. That's odd. She was a limping yesterday. Did something happen to her? Did someone hurt her? Did he kill the granny? Hunter. Can I go in this room now? I'm actually gonna save first, that would be wise. Just tell me where she is. I know she must be around here somewhere. 
Why can't you just let her go through the doors? She wanted to go with you. If something bad happened, you could be there to protect her. Of course I wanted to be there to protect her. I want to protect her from harm more than anything. It's because I want to protect her that I can't let her stay here any longer. I can't lose her. She's all I have. Wish she went away. I need to find her. Now. Oh, Hunter. Don't you know how much she loves you? You're the only one who noticed she was limping that day. Although many would have found her methods... Your methods... Unorthodox. You followed her home. You following her home saved her life. You, you're late again. How many times do I have to tell you not to slack off on your duties? I'm sorry, grandmother. I'll do it. I'll do better next time. I promise. You, you were hanging out with that boy again, weren't you? You came in all happy like and blushing. Huh? So now you're nothing but a dirty. <laughs> So sick of you. Your mother would have been so disappointed in you. I should have gotten rid of you a long time ago. Uh, oh God, C Cranny, what are you? No, I did not mean to press that. Oh God, I press I pressed the wrong button. I went to I meant to like drink that thing out. I pressed the button. It all happened so fast, didn't it? Was your heart pounding? Were you scared? Not at all. I was prepared to do whatever I could to protect her. Well, I'll tell you a secret then. Despite Bonnie's desperation for her grandmother's approval, she was nothing but relief to see you do the one thing she'd always wanted. You saved her. It's complicated, our feelings. There's a lot of guilt inside of us over what happened, but please know, my dear, that we have no desire to leave your side. We simply want to put the past behind us and move forward. We're sure you understand. Yes, I do. Of course, sweet Bonnie, I just want to see her again. Uh, um... Bonnie? Hunter, I'm so sorry, I just... Oh, Bonnie, I'm so happy you're okay. Hey you, I mean me. What is it? You're both going to need this. Memory key. Please, Hunter. Please go through the doors with us. Good luck. <laughs> alright, I suppose we can try. As long as you stay close by me, alright? Really? Oh, thank you so much, Hunter. I I'm so sorry if I scared you, my precious Bonnie. All I wanted is to make sure nothing bad happens to you ever again. You're so incredibly special to me, more than you'll ever truly know. Hunter, I understand. Here. How about after all this is over? I'm all yours for the rest of the day. We can do anything you like. Uh, hey. I already said that to you. You can't trick me into choosing what we do today. Ah, oh, shoot. I already thought that would work. <laughs> Fall down. My, I love you so much. I love you too. I lived happily ever after. How to join the party? Well, here we go. All right, are you ready? Remember, I'll be right here the whole time. So I promise I'll keep you safe. Hunter, thank you. I, I want, I want to keep you safe too. Let's just hope this really is the way out. 
with one hand turning the key and the other tightly holding Hunter's hand, you open the front doors to the parallel. Oh, wow. Hunter, are you okay? Do you need anything? No, I'm just fine. I'm here for you, okay? I promise that everything is going to be okay. Keep the hand on shift. This is... We don't have to do this, Bonnie. We can slow go back. I know it can be painful to think about these things. But no. My whole life I've been stuck between trying to please my grandmother or being terrified of her. Even when she's dead, I'm still scared of her. I still do the little things I did to try and make her happy day to day. But, but I'm done with that. I can't keep running away from her. I have to do this. I see. I, I'm honestly a little surprised to hear you say such a thing. It's a good change to seeing you then, Bonnie. It'll be all, it'll, I'll be right here the whole time, no matter what. Oh god. Oh my god, I was right! Bonnie, stay back. I'll handle this. But wait, Hunter! D just trust me this time, alright? That I, I was actually right, that is the granny. You. Are. Ruined! Let me guess, I ruined your life. Well, friends, let me tell you my thoughts about you. You didn't necessarily ruin my life, but staying with you could barely qualify as a life. All I ever wanted was your love. All I ever wanted was to make you happy. You abused me relentlessly, all because of something I had no control over. You made me feel guilty over my own existence. For years, I thought I deserved everything you did. What kind of monster lets their grief out on a little kid? Your own granddaughter, no less. Now look at what's become of you. You really are horrible inside and out. Good God! You can't hurt me anymore. Soon you will only be a bad dream, a bad memory. And I will never let your words control me again. Oh wow. Where am I? You're in the part of me your species would call the brain. Y you again, who are you? They call me the parallel. I didn't choose that name. But nobody ever asked me what I wanted to be called. Uh, oh, um, hello. But are you going to kill me? No. They're much too hard to chew through. The taste wouldn't be satisfying. They're simply not worth the effort anymore. Um, thank you? What about Hunter? Where is he? He's not worth it e anymore either. I. I was ecstatic to taste him, his crumbling texture, but as long as you're around, it's too hard to get a bite. You two being separated didn't seem to help either. You both will be sent back shortly. I'm simply undoing all of myself that I can make, that I made for you. Can I ask you a question if you don't m mind? You might as well. Does, does this mean I won't be affected by those memories anymore? No. Those memories will always be a part of you. I have seen many people deal with grief. They let it consume them. They push it away. They can even let it turn them into a horrific monster. What? Keep the wrong button. But you did something I've only seen a few do. You tried to learn from it. You tried to grow from it. Those memories don't make up who you are. What you do with them does. That is a part of what will always stay with you. But that's also the part that makes you taste disgusting. <laughs> that's also the part that makes you taste disgusting. <laughs> You're very exhausting. You're very exhausting. Did you know that? <laughs> that's what I've been told. <laughs> Um, well, thank you. <laughs> In a weird way, I think I needed to hear all that. <laughs> well, it's time. <laughs> time for the. <laughs>
I what what just happened? Bonnie, I I You poor thing. You're shaking. It's alright, Bonnie, I've got you. Are you alright? I I've never been better. Ending three of three. Yay! You finally got an ending. Woohoo! Hello. Yep, we know the deal. Hunter may be a bit protective, but he does have a point. I may have been putting too much trust in Carnation's words. I don't know what's behind those doors, and I nearly died so many times within the parable. I know Hunter just wants what's best for me. After all, he saved my life. I trust Hunter. I love him more than anything. Just like how he loves me. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've put you through, Miss Carnation. I think it would be best if I stayed here with Hunter. But what? He tied you up and put you here against your will, did he not? Please don't think of him poorly, Miss Carnation. I've known for a while Hunter can be like this. It's only because he wants to protect me. I'm okay. I'm safe. And, I and I'm fully alright with this arrangement. Really, thank you so much for all your help. I promise I'll never forget you. You just don't understand. I suppose I cannot force you to come with me. But just know this. You're making a mistake. When you're transported to the parallel again, I'll be waiting. Oh, Bonnie. Hunter, what happened? Uh, are you okay? <laughs> Never better. I just so happened to run into someone we knew. Someone who was poking around places she had no business being in. Did you kill her? I was beyond suspicious. I thought she may have taken my precious bunny away from me for a moment. But then she told me the most lovely thing. You refused to go with her. What a good girl. I don't like you. Of course. I couldn't have her continue to live after she admitted she tried to take you away from me. Ah, oh, God, she killed her. But none of that matters. What truly matters is that I have you safe and all to myself now. I have our things packed, my dear. Are you ready to go? The sooner we leave this place behind, the better. After all, the only thing I need in this world is you. Obedient. What a sicko. I think we have file 11. I think we just go out the door. The doors are unlocked. Should I go through them? I know I worked so hard to get here, but I'm kind of scared. Yes, let's go. <laughs> There's a clock right here. There's a clock ticking endlessly. Time always moves forward, doesn't it? Even if you're stuck in one moment, anything else can and will move forward without you. You've tried so hard to overcome everything and get past these moments. However, you're still stuck. One way or another, you will always be stuck. The clock stops ticking. Oh my. I, I, I'm gonna throw up. Oh. Oh, oh my. What happened? There's a lot of blood. There was a lot of blood here. Oh my god. Can't go that way. Ah, Bonnie, there you are. Oh. Ah, oh, Jesus, this isn't exactly ideal timing now, is it? <laughs> Apologies, my dear. I may have been a bit carried away. I. I. Y you. Why? Why would you do this to them? No one would tell me where you were. I thought they were hiding you from me. So I had to get rid of them. And they all could have seriously hurt you, you know. I'm so, so glad you're safe. Oh, my precious money. I'm never going to let you out of this, my sight ever again. <laughs> no matter what, I promise I won't let anything happen to you. And it pulls the wolf.
God, what a sicko. Yeah, this is really short. I might just put this in the previous video. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I might do. See you there. <laughs> what about memories? Art, characters, writing, game development, smells, rubbing. Okay, that was actually that was actually quite fun. That was gruesome. I will admit in some parts. <clears throat> but um <laughs> It was it was entertaining. I will say that. Yeah, you know, it feels good to finish the game, you know? Thank you to um money in a bit. I see where your play feeds my pretty scenes with who was really helping the game to publish. I'm not reading that loud. Okay, yeah, I can't read out loud that fast. <laughs> I can read in my head that fast, but I can't read out loud that fast. Yay! So, um, yeah, that's um, it for me. We will get the next ending, or next two endings, one of the two, in the next video, or next videos. So, um, yeah, this is probably a long one. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, <laughs> thanks for watching. I'll see all of you in the next one. Wonderful video. Bye-bye.